Hello everybody, making the first video and going up to the land up in Maine. I'm gonna show you what's going on up there, what I've been doing, and I'll explain later on what I plan to do on that piece of land. All right, so here we go. Sunrise going through Meredith, New Hampshire, right now. Just a quick stop for coffee and maybe stretch my legs. the property coming up to it to my right there is left after the 600 feet onto Jack Rabbit Road to my right is the Sackle River give you some idea here I am right here There, next left. Then you will arrive at your destination on the right hand side. You have Here I am. This is it. Wow, there's a lot of snow here. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Let me put a trail camera up or something. I'll give you a quick tour of the property. As you can see, there's quite a bit of snow here. I can't get the truck down here. It's all packed ice. Take a little walk. Show you the, basically the driveway down to the property. Hopefully it won't fall. <laughs> I don't see anything yet. A little ways of a walk, not too bad. Watch where I'm going, that's all. This is the 
been down here for a while. It's going to be some time before this. Oh, I need some heavy rains to get rid of this. No, probably stand there on maybe a good four to five feet of snow. <laughs> I'd have to say, walking down to the property here. See how far I can get down. I don't see anything yet. The only thing that's down here is my shed. As you can see, my shed's in the corner. I'm really hoping I can walk back up. <laughs> okay, Terry from Minnesota, you wanted to see the land. I'm up here. Give you a quick view of it. Over to the left is where I'm going to put the cabin. Right where I got those stakes. I don't know because probably can't see them. It's basically a vicinity. Over here, I got the power. That'll be run over. And I don't know if you can see it where the blue is. You can barely see it. It's just where the well's going. And basically, right where those two stakes are, that's where the cabin's going. And of course, that's my shed down below. And this is basically the property right here. Oh, two and a half acres. And I'll be heading back up the driveway now. And I'd totally get stuck 100%. Uh, like I said, a quick trip up here. Didn't think there'd be this much snow. Last time I was up here was maybe three to five inches of snow. It was all flight too, but this is a heavy pack. I must have a storm up here. Head over to the truck. Might put one more game cam out. We'll see. I'll give you a quick tutorial about how I acquired this piece of land. I was kind of looking for something in New Hampshire, but I ended up buying something here in Maine. Um, I looked, for, looked at several parcels of land in New Hampshire, but I, I couldn't find anything that either I couldn't afford or I couldn't build what I wanted to build on there. So um, a realtor called me and said, um, up in Maine, said, I, I got a piece of property up in Freiburg that you might be interested in. It's uh, 2.5 acres of land. It's cleared with the driveway going down already, and it's... Uh, I've got a three bedroom septic that's never been used. It's already there with electrical run down already on the property. And um, I had looked at it back in 2020, sometime in May, probably late April, early May. And I kind of passed on it. It seemed a little bit too remote for me. Then I kind of thought about it. I came back up here about two weeks later and had asked the realtor is the property still for sale, and it was. And um, I actually took a second look, and it was, you know, a lot more, a lot, it was a lot more than I could find anywhere else. I mean, very hard to find a piece of cleared land. Already, half the work was already done for me down here, so I'm gonna, I've looked into several options over the year to put either a, Put either a cabin or a prefab home on there, but I decided to put a small cabin on there. I found one back in December. I put a deposit down on it up in Sabatis, Maine. You know, maybe about an maybe about an hour away from here. I found it online. Went and looked at it, liked what I saw, and um, 
It's gonna be delivered up here sometime in April, maybe May. Depends on the snow cover. Kinda, of, you never know up here. You know, I mean, it's snowing right now, quick flurry. But, um, but that's kind of how I inquired the land. You know, the guy was a motivated seller. He wanted to sell it. And um, I kind of went for it, you know. So we'll see what happens. Very peaceful and quiet up here. And I got one neighbor down the, down the road from me. He just built a home. He was actually the original owner of all this property up here, all of it. He, uh, he sold parcels off at, at a time on it. And um, so I got one, it's, it's nice. So that's about it. And that's the uh, basic lay of the land so far. As you can see, trucks in the background, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty peaceful and quiet up here. But um, I think I'll all set up one more cam before I take off. I had some stuff in the back to unload, but there's no, there's no way I'm getting down here. And a uh, snow blow definitely wouldn't take care of this stuff. It's pretty hard. So it's gonna be a while before I get back up here. It's March 14th, Sunday, 2021. So maybe next month sometime, hopefully. We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you on the next video. When I come back up here, hopefully I'll have a video of the, um, of the uh, well going in, if I can get up here. Hopefully I can, and of course the cabin being delivered. And uh, should be more of a video to see. It's kind of a basic. Uh, video that I'm showing right now. It's just starting out here. I'm kind of new at this <laughs> Thanks for watching